Being on quarantine has given me some time to get items off the honeydew list. My wife wants this cabinet in our kitchen converted to hold utensils and cutting boards. This was her makeshift attempt at a cutting board holder. Looks like it's time to get to work. My plan is to perforate some quarter inch Baltic birch plywood into four different tubes to hold the utensils. Before I do that, the first thing I need to do is cut the top and bottom support pieces for this unit. Using a quarter inch piece of Baltic birch plywood and an eighth inch straight bit, I'm cutting grooves horizontally, leaving about 40 thousandths on the bottom. This will give me enough strength to keep the panel together while allowing the flexibility to form it into a round tube. I roll each panel into a tube shape and then press it into the dado I cut out in the bottom frame. This can be a little tricky as I designed everything to have a tight fit. You just need to press down slowly as the panel is being wrapped around to fit it into the channel. Then I secure the top joint with a clamp until I'm ready to install the top plate. With all four tubes in place, I'm permanently securing them to the bottom plate by brushing in some wood glue. Now comes the fun part. I had to get the top plate on by starting from one end to slowly ensure that the panels are fitting into the circle openings on the top plate. Since this is an opening and not a channel, it was a little bit easier, but I had to keep pressure on the top plate as I move from tube to tube to prevent them from popping back out. With all four tubes in place, I secured the top and bottom plates with four clamps and then proceeded to brush and glue on the top as I did on the bottom. I cut two side panels on the CNC and proceeded to apply glue into the rabbit joints that I cut on each side of the top and bottom plates. Then I fit the panel into place and secured both sides with some clamps to let the glue dry. The fit of all the joints was perfect, which is an obvious benefit of using a CNC. Now that the unit is all glued up and sanded, I'm going to apply some sealer to the whole thing. Now I test fit the unit in the top shelf of the cabinet drawer. The next thing on my list was to make a holder in the bottom shelf for cutting boards. My wife's makeshift design, which included an old cardboard box, while it may not have looked great, it did keep the cutting boards from falling out, preventing the cabinet drawer from opening. After sitting down with Vetric VCarve Pro for a little while, I came up with a design for the cutting board rack that would go onto the bottom shelf. I headed back to the CNC to cut out two side panels, a front panel and a back panel, all out of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. I secured the material to my CNC machine using a vacuum table. You'll notice the holes that I added in the front and back panels. They're there purely for aesthetic purposes. I designed the side panels with dados in them so the entire cutting board holder would go together like a puzzle. I also wanted to make sure that the front and back panels were secure because I only planned to hold them together with wood glue and no nails. Once I applied glue and fit everything together, I held it securely in place with clamps while the glue dried. When the glue was dry, I sanded the rack and applied some sealer as I did with the utensil holder. I fit the unit into the bottom shelf of the cabinet drawer and secured it in place with the original wood strips that were on the cabinets from the factory. Everything fit together very well and looked like it came from the original manufacturer that way. And there it is, all installed. Two items checked off my list thanks to my CNC. While I'm sure the cardboard will be missed, I know this made my wife very happy. Overall, I think the design worked out perfectly making the cabinet much more functional and allowing our kitchen to be a little bit more organized.